Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, I am going to perform a lab activity related to the determination of vitamin C in orange juice by iodometric method. So here, the number of steps which we are going to perform. So we are just going to perform the lab activity related to the preparation of solution. But before that, I am showing you the calculation part to prepare the solution. So preparation of sodium thiosulfate solution. So for this purpose, to prepare the solutions, I am just going to use this equation, right? So in this equation, we need to prepare our solution just putting the values. So here we are having uh, this sodium thiosulfate and I want to prepare the sodium thiosulfate in 250 ml of distilled water. I just want to prepare 0 0.01 molar solution of this sodium thiosulfate. In my previous video, I told you about the normality and molarity. So here in this case, normality is equal to molarity of sodium thiosulfate. So uh, to prepare 0 0.01 or m by 100 solution, I am just going to put the values here in this formula. So here molarity is m by 100 molecular weight of sodium thiosulfate into volume that is 250 ml divided by 1000 to convert it into liters. So in this manner, I'll just get this weight 0 0.6205 grams of sodium thiosulfate to prepare m by 100 solution of sodium thiosulfate. Now the preparation of sodium thiosulfate solution for which I have dissolved 0 0.6205 grams of sodium thiosulfate in 250 ml of distilled water, right? So here the solution of sodium thiosulfate by M by 100. Preparation of K2Cr2O7 solution. For this purpose, I need to uh, weigh 0 0.049 for 100 ml of distilled water to prepare N by 100 solution. So, for this calculation, we need to divide its molecular weight by 6 because in this case, 6 number of electrons are gained by this Cr, right? So, what about this calculation? I have just given in detail in my previous video. I am just going to give the link here. The third step is preparation of iodine solution. So, to prepare iodine solution, I am just going to get again the weight. How much weight I have to uh, take on for 100 ml of distilled water uh, to prepare the iodine solution. And if I would like to prepare N by 100 solution of iodine. So I put all the values here in this formula, right? And in that way, I just get 0 0.3 grams of iodine. So to prepare the iodine solution, I have weighed 0 0.3 grams of iodine. And now I dissolve it in some distilled water. But here you can see it is not dissolved in simple distilled water. So I have added 1 gram of potassium iodide to this. And you can see it is started dissolving. Right, so I have added small small amount of water so that it is dissolved completely and it takes 2-3 minutes to dissolve and now the solution is ready. Preparation of starch indicator for this purpose I have taken 1 gram of starch and I have added it in warm water and dissolve and then I boiled it now cool down to room temperature. So related to the preparation of a starch solution as indicator and standardization of sodium thiosulfate using K2Cr2O7 solution, I have already made uh, dedicated videos for these uh, solution preparations and standardization. So uh, I, I'll just put all the links in the description box. So please check that. The next is preparation of orange juice. So I'll show you the lab activity. Now extraction of orange juice. So for this purpose I have taken this cloth. This is washed and neat. Now I after peeling off I will just squeeze out this orange through this cotton cloth. And this is my advice that it should be done just before the titration process. right? Because it can be oxidized. And uh, now I am going to dilute the orange juice. So 10 ml of orange juice is diluted to 100 ml. So this is transferred 10 ml of orange juice to the 100 ml measuring flask. And now this is 100 ml of orange juice which is diluted. So here the solution of iodine plus orange juice. Now we are going to rinse the burette. 
with the sodium thiosulfate so first i'll just going to rinse it thoroughly and then i will fill it with the sodium thiosulfate solution which i have prepared and is standardized right so now we are going to fill this burette with the help of n by m by 100 sodium thiosulfate up to the mark so here now i clamp it so you can see the mark this is zero and this sodium thiosulfate solution is filled in the burette which is already standardized and now i am going to titrate first the mixture of orange juice plus iodine because i cannot leave it for longer while so that it may be deteriorated or oxidized right sometimes it is hydrolyzed with water so i don't know actual mechanism of this but i will do first this titration and then i will do the titration of iodine only so 10 ml of orange juice which is diluted i have taken plus 10 ml of iodine solution i have taken so here orange juice you can take as per your uh, concentration of the solution so if it is diluted then you can take 20 ml also right so 10 10 ml of orange juice i have orange juice plus iodine solution i have taken you can see the concentration that some of the iodine is consumed by the orange juice and here you can see the color of the iodine which is diluted right or fainted out now the titration we have started for this mixture and the speed of the video is four times actually just to save the time of the video And we are going to titrate it till the light yellow color is obtained right so here now I am going to add starch solution to this which is working as an indicator and you can see the purple color of starch iodine complex about this starch iodine complex I have made a separate video I will also give the link of that video here and now I will start titrating it again against this sodium thiosulfate solution up to the color of the solution disappears right now you should be very careful it is going so here is the end point right so at the end point purple color is gone so the reading is 23.4 ml now we are going to titrate this 10 ml of iodine solution so whatever iodine solution you have taken in the previous experiment or the mixture you have to take the same amount of iodine solution because only then we are going to eliminate this iodine right this is a kind of back titration I will also made a video on this back titration I will also give the link of that video in the description box so here we get the painted um, yellow color and here I have added the starch which gives a purple color of starch iodine complex and now we are again going to start the titration so here we are going to titrate it further with the sodium thiosulfate solution and uh, as soon as the color is going to be fainted we should be very careful uh, near the end point right the end point is quite sharp so here the end point is about to reach so this is the end point right so both the solutions are colorless and now the reading is 25 and on titration we are going to have this kind of observation table so in this i have just taken one one reading if you are doing your research work or your lab activity then you please perform it at least for three times right so first i have taken 10 ml of iodine solution right and for this the burette which is filled with sodium thiosulfate is having mark zero and on titration 10 ml of this i'll just get 25 ml mark right final so 25 how much sodium thiosulfate is consumed so 25 minus 0 means 25 ml of sodium thiosulfate is consumed against this iodine solution in the second step we are just going to titrate our orange juice which is diluted right so i have taken 10 ml of iodine solution plus 10 ml of 
uh, orange juice so juice what is going to be happen over here because orange juice reacts with iodine in this case some iodine is consumed by the orange juice so the rest iodine which is left over there that will be titrated against the sodium thiosulfate solution so i have taken initial burette reading which is zero again and final burette reading which is 23.4 and then i'll get 23.4 ml of sodium thiosulfate is consumed against this solution of orange juice plus iodine now what we can observe from here we can observe that for orange juice only this much volume of sodium thiosulfate consumed means for 10 ml of iodine this much consumed and for orange mixture of orange juice and iodine solution this much consumed means uh this is 10 ml and this is again 10 ml so these two must be fixed so that we can compare but we can change the volume of orange juice right this minus this means this much amount of sodium thiosulfate is consumed against the orange juice so that is the observation now what kind of reactions takes place here if you have any confusion so iodine on reaction with this vitamin c or ascorbic acid it get reduced and the vitamin c or ascorbic acid get oxidized here you can see the oxidation product so here we are having dehydroxy ascorbic acid right now the next reaction since this iodine reacts with sodium thiosulfate in this manner means for one iodine molecule two moles of sodium thiosulfates are required right so here for one mole of iodine m1 v1 upon 1 since it is one mole right m2 v2 upon 2 moles this is so in this manner this will becomes n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 right after dividing by the number of electrons gain or loss so this is the reaction but what about the vitamin c here since iodine reacts in this manner as well as one iodine reacts with one ascorbic acid so one is to one so in this equation i replace this iodine with ascorbic acid so same is the reaction this one mole of vitamin c reacts with two moles of sodium thiosulfate solution so this reaction will also go with vitamin c solution now i am just going to do the calculation part so this much volume of sodium thiosulfate is consumed 1.6 ml now this is the formula which i have discussed in my previous slide now we are putting the values here so molarity of sodium thiosulfate is m by 98 we have already calculated this volume consumed of sodium thiosulfate is coming from here so this is the volume consumed of sodium thiosulfate this is number of electrons or number of moles react with here this is molarity we need to calculate and this is the volume of the vitamin c which i have taken now you can also change this value if you have taken 10 ml of iodine plus this is for iodine plus 10 ml or 20 ml instead of 10 ml 20 ml of vitamin c then you write 20 ml for instead of 10 ml right so this is the volume of vitamin c which we have taken because we replaced it right now on solving this we are getting this molar M molar means moles per liter now if we need to calculate weight of vitamin c so for that purpose we need to multiply molarity into molecular weight of vitamin c so what is the molecular weight of vitamin c this is 176.12 grams per mole and here this is the molarity moles per liter which we have calculated from so we get this much grams per liter and if we can also convert by multiplying it 1000 so 1000 means milligram per liter right so if we multiply it with 1000 then we get 143.77 ppm so this is the answer for this solution but what we have done i diluted this right this 10 ml diluted or make up up to 100 ml so 10 to 100 ml we have prepared so this is the molarity or cons concentration for this 100 ml solution which is 10 times diluted right so 
here we can calculate the concentration of this concentrated juice so what we will do we will do this is the molarity which we have calculated from here and this is molarity of 100 ml which we have diluted right and this is equal to 10 ml into molarity of the concentrated solution so this is since this is 10 times as i told you earlier so here you can see this is 10 times this molarity is 10 times this m prime is 10 times of the molarity of the solution and now strength you can calculate so this which comes from here this multiplied by molecular weight of vitamin c and we get this much grams per liter so here you can see this is 0.143 this is 1.43 so 10 times this is more than this dilute solution this is for dilute solution this this is for the concentrated orange juice which we have extracted directly from the orange right so i hope you understand this and you will be able to understand the calculation part also if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching